And this is what he does to show off his watch. <laughs> Somebody probably disrespected him at Richard Mueller. He said, F this brand. These celebrities are so pissy prissy. If you poo poo them one time, they'll poo poo your brand because he wanted to get a Richard Mueller and he wasn't in stock and he felt poo pooed. <laughs> One of these guys is a jewelry jerk-off. Who is the biggest jerk-off? Is it gonna be Rick Ross? Is it gonna be Sauce Walker? Or is it gonna be DJ Khaled? I call it a shit a leer. <laughs> Some other jewelers, you rapper s your dick. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna wire him a hundred thousand dollars, or you're gonna wire him five hundred thousand dollars. You're still gonna get a hundred thousand dollar piece of jewelry. All three of these guys are flexing with their jewelry, but one of them is a jewelry jerk off. Right, first things first, let's go to DJ Khaled IG because he hasn't been doing much, but he's golfing. The first thing that strikes me is a rose gold Patek Philippe. He's got the Chronos, I don't know which one it is, the 580, 680. He's got a rubber He's got a lot of Patek Philippe. He's a rich man, and he's keeping it very, very classy with this Patek. Another Patek Philippe. So he's going Patek Philippe crazy. Here you gotta see where he started at. He was wearing a, uh, what is this, a Figaro curb link back in the day. You know what I'm saying, and a fat farm shirt. He looked like a real sharp dude. He gained some pounds and he gained some time pieces. Again, he's wearing a platinum rolly with the blue face. Platinum Rolex with the Arabic numerals. Golfing, golfing. Where's the jewelry, Khaled? He's a t-shirt and yeah, a watch guy. He's a t-shirt and a watch guy. So has he ever wore a bracelet, a Cuban chain? That's the money you gotta look out for. It's a t-shirt yeah. and a watch. I found one chain. The Ala piece, <laughs> the yeah. The Ala piece, that's uh, it. Which is he probably been wearing for a long time. The Ala piece, and this is the watch that's going <laughs> crazy. AP. Right, the AP. Uh, the gold ones are going a uh, uh, 100 to 200. But this one, the that's steel, skeleton. you could do 50, you know? Some of them are the cheaper, but that AP is a serious AP. That is the multicolor, whatever the f limited edition with the frosted gold skeleton. It's yeah. called gold crazy. He's been going golf crazy over here. So yeah. his watch collection is already in the millions right there. And he's trying to stunt and he's trying to shit on everybody with it. Black so, ceramic AP. Black, yeah, ceramic, black AP. ceramic. There you go. Black ceramic AP. And this is what he does to show off his watches. <laughs> or he'll be holding a sneaker, taking a picture of the sneaker, and you see the paddock. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. right. He's wearing it on the private jet as well, the black ceramic skeleton face. There's not a lot of those. He's got a monster watch collection. I mean, you're looking in picture after picture, he's here with Kevin Hart. He's wearing a, a, a very exclusive Roly with that one. It's on a leopard band. Now, here's the real f***ing flex, a Louis Vuitton golf bag. <laughs> Yeah, he, he likes to stunt and flex with the watchers and a cigar. Khaled is now just golfing and enjoying and playing and eating and lobsters and private chefs. All of the shitty music that you guys listen. This is good music. <laughs> Wait, we missed this one. I guess this is a watch from Pristine. He's got that Pristine joint and the Jacob joint, which they look the same. And it's a little diamond pendant on, but a monster iced out watch from Pristine. Paper it's airplane, airplane joint, yeah, paper airplane joint, which is sweet. Clearly he can have whatever he wants, but his watch collection is bar none. Uh-oh, we got a pinky ring. This is a monster pinky ring right here. A monster with a big boy center stone. This is gonna be a tough one. That pinky ring just set it all off. And everybody's got a We The Best chain on. Um, making a lot of money in the music industry, you know what I'm saying? Galaxy Patek Philippe right here. A stock diamond sky dweller. He's not doing aftermarket after he got called out on the Chetelier, I guess. Golfing and factory diamond watches. You know, is that the influence we have in the jewelry industry? He's got another Patek Philippe with, uh, with the green rubber band right here. The golf man's dream right there. We scroll down to April, and that's and he's been doing this for a long time. Let's We've just... seen 40 watches. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, that was the last two yeah, months we've seen 40 down to watches April. on this man. I mean, here he's wearing his... Rockefeller joint. He's got his wife with a lot of tennises and a beautiful engagement ring and a lot of bracelets. His son is wearing a little roly. So he decked out his whole family. He's very, very proud of himself. Fat Joe's got the classic big pun jump Jordan Jumpman type joint. So that's a beautiful piece right there. Crazy rubies cut up and crazy shit. And with a monster ring as well. He's got the Black Panther Audemars. The Bongo the one, purple right? band. Yeah, yeah it's, it's one of those new concept uh, Audemars. It's listed for $450,000. <laughs> <laughs> this 
picture with Trey Four. What is Trey Four wearing? An Apple Watch. <laughs> Factory, Elite Watches, Rolls Royce, Maybach, Private Chef, Golfing, Jet Skiing, Boating. You know what I'm saying? It's hard not to hate. And I haven't seen him wearing any Richard Meals. Somebody probably disrespected him at Richard Meal and he said, F his brand. These celebrities are so pissy prissy. And if you poo poo them one time, they'll poo poo your brand because he wanted to get a Richard Meal and he wasn't in stock and he felt poo pooed. Did you get poo pooed? AJ Khaled? You get poo pooed? That's probably the reason why he's not wearing a single Richard Meal. Otherwise, he would have had 50 of them. Or they're ugly as shit. And he said, it's a very, very powerful collection of watches. He could put on those rings, he could put on that icy shit, or whatever else once in a while. But when you have a $400,000, $500,000 watch on, yeah. do you really need a, fucking, a, a bunch of rings and shit like that? And there's different levels to this shit. All right, let's go to Rick Ross. I'm tired of looking at these guys. <laughs> he's got two. Many. We only scrolled back down to February 8th and we can't take it anymore. I can't take it. It me. is difficult. It is difficult. Really I tough. feel like f***ing cutting my arm off. <laughs> Are we peasants? More or less. Yeah. Cost, guys. It costs money to do it. And one hit song ain't gonna f***ing do it to get a collection like that. Let's see if uh, Rick Ross can compete. This I love right here, man. Monster Jesus on a rose gold Cuban monster sized Jesus head. Like this fing big. It might not even be that heavy. It's just not. At that size, you don't want it yeah. solid, though. It's like that classic CZ style or whatever it is. I don't even know. What, it, it's definitely on the lighter side. He's got the nugget bracelet and a rose gold Cuban. And that shit, you can see the back of the bale is mad light. So it's just a light Jesus, but it's the biggest one. And he said, fing it, I'm gonna take it. And the rolly he's wearing right here, that's the nugget, nugget rolly. The nugget Rolex with the classic yeah. old school, that's flex. the green face, the fucking flex. All these guys want to do is flex, bro. Cuban stack. So uh now we're in business over here. So you know what I'm saying? This is hip hop jewelry. And it's done well. All right, he's got three different styles of Cubans on, but his watch is, after looking at what DJ Khaled had going on, his watch is depressing, bro. A Jubilee Rolex, bro, it's the same shit I'm wearing right here, bro, with a little slightly bigger bezel. But the Cubans are dope. The quality on the Cubans ain't what it's supposed to be, but the R is fantastic. Shout out to Varbaro, whatever it is, my boy Varbaro out there. Those three monster Cubans ain't as big as the Cuban I did for Buster Rhymes. Then he's got... He's got everything. 305 <laughs> ring, uh, the monster size R, monster. The Maybach shit, Maybach music, bracelets, the 305, monster pieces, fully iced, classic. That's him just him in front of a private Jet with multicolor, but in front of a fing Impala or some shit like that. 57 Chevy. 57 Chevy. He looks like he's got a gold coin pendant and a gold rolly on. Real classy, real chic. He's trying to be chic with this shit. So, so you know you're ready. He's got a jewelry store in his crib. Charms he's got. He's got charms on his bracelets. He's got Van Cleef joint, baguette rings, the different various qualities and sizes. He's got the 24 karat Canadian maple leaf. That's the cool gold coin pendant that he's got, which is dope, which is right up my alley. With some presidential over there, some old school shit. Um, here, what do we have? Pointers, yeah, he's got a nice pointer chain. Those are big and those are expensive, and uh, that, those damn transactions are hard to navigate around. A chandelier, Cartier, Cartier. Some of the stones, he's got a lot of SI jewelry, but that's all right. Protect Philippe, wow. chandelier, protect Philippe, bro. Aftermarket, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's an Audemars uh, chandelier, but an aftermarket, so definitely losing Lose points right there. Definitely losing points on that end. Well, he gained points on a lot of other things. I mean, he's got Cartier, but he's He's got the cross ring and the chrome hearts type shit. Oh, well, got that cross ring. This yeah. is your phone. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, right there. All right, put it on. Put that ring on. You could be like, right here. Close. Yeah, now he's got a little fruity little chain. That chain is too small for you, Rick. Oh, that little Jesus is really <laughs> so fruity. You got the mini Jesus right there. Yeah, multicolor. That's cute. That's good. That's a dope. Emerald Jesus piece with emeralds in the crown and emeralds are dope stones. Nobody knows about it. That's what's up. Where's at least the one watch that's on the level of DJ Khaled in here, man? And well, it's there with Rick Ross. Rick Ross is just wearing the same stuff we've seen in the other pictures. And Will's got some fruity pieces, a lot of baguette rings. Let me load up on my rings real quick. Uh oh, there they are together. The same timepiece with the pinky, DJ Khaled and uh, Rick Ross. 
But DJ Khaled got you beat. The watch is the same, but that's the light work for DJ Khaled right there, bro. If DJ Khaled's stunt was a nine, this is gonna be a six and a half. Your stunt level, Rick Ross, is the same average I had when I graduated high school, bro. <laughs> graduated with those APs, huh? <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? So. Khaled is stunting in a way that could turn you green. Green like the screen, you know what I'm saying? Flashing. <laughs> See, the way he set up his life is very, very nice. This guy, Khaled, and it's just uh, very, very nice. It's very, very nice. We remember Floyd. He had a lot of shit, but even Khaled beats Floyd's collection like nothing. You're looking at Khaled, you're looking at perfect models with natural bodies, and now you're going to the strip club, and now you're seeing, you know what I'm saying? Khaled opened too strong. Fake asses and tattoos on the side of their ass and shit like that. It would have been hot if I didn't just can come out of Victoria's Secret's dressing room. Now it's up to our boy Sauce Walker to contend against these heavy hitters. And you know, Sauce Walker was in the house, he was here, and he's been moving and grooving through the jewelry field like a fucking maniac, bro. Sauce Walker is the real deal. Where is the original Sauce Walker fucking account? Shadow banned out the ass, bro. Devin, what's up? What's up? You know I'm going with you. Devin, you know I'm going ride. Cause he loves to stunt. Oh, here's he stunting over here. Bunch of rings, bunch of Cubans, bunch of bracelets that he f***ing swindled from a million other f***ing jewelry collection. They're every jeweler in <laughs> every f***ing way, street, shape, or form. We... Johnny Dang just posted a video with him. That's the chain he just bought. Yeah. Extra large Cubans are going around. That's the move to make. Sauce finagled himself one. Sauce had a lot of beautiful jewelry. I mean, he's got a large collection of jewelry for where he is and what station he is in the game. He's got the cartoon characters from back in the day. He set a lot of trends. He's done a lot of this. He's done a lot of this. But how are we going to rate these guys? I mean, we get it. We get it. Sauce, he's got a lot of jewelry. We've seen it all, we've done it all. He wins on the cartoons. He got a Snorlax pendant. He does that cartoony stuff, which I love. You got DJ Khaled on the Plain Janes doing incredible shit. You got Rick Ross with a collection of Jesus pieces and extra large pieces. And you got Sauce Waka with a lot of extraordinary trends and a lot of pieces. And I'm gonna rate DJ Khaled on the clean cleanliness and the class of his watches as number one. I'm gonna have to put Sauce Walker for what he has and what he's done in the jewelry business at number two. And I'm gonna have to put Rick Chicken Finger, Lemon Pepper, Chicken Finger, Licking Fingers, Chicken Barbecue Dip Ross at number three. Rick Ross in the bottom. I got Sauce number one because I think he knows exactly what the f he wants to do. I got number two, Rick Ross. And I got Khaled in three, because I like watches and all, but like, unless you really know what the f you're looking at, it's like, oh, that's a Rolex. Like, yeah, it's, it's 500 grand, but like, you don't really know. You know, it, it's a tough one. Yeah, it is a matter of opinion. You could list your, your list on there. Um, uh, I could put Sauce on number one, but I wouldn't be staying true to myself. Then who's stunting the hardest? And they all stunted super f***ing hard. It's DJ Khaled. After he got ragged on the sh** earlier, I guess he stepped it up. He crawled through a river of sh** and came out clean on the other side. So how do you guys rate him? One huh? to three? One to three. And why? And why? It's a very, very tough competition.